Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to keep talking to you guys about how footings content just keeps getting better with the SBCs and the Foot Champions or the Footies Foot Champions upgrade packs that were released yesterday. There were insane pack luck and just the grindability of those at this stage of the game. I want to talk about how I think those are a W. For the hardcore grinders like us that are still playing FIFA right now at this time, EA is really rewarding us right now at this moment and not just the whole community and the whole game as a whole as a lot of people have already dropped off. So I want to talk about that, maybe throw in some FIFA 22 talk as well because we had some information yesterday released about gameplay and also some information is getting talked about with division rivals and the weekend league. So I want to talk about that a little bit as well. Of course, the market moved with those objectives and even with some of the packs that we had yesterday as well. We'll also take a look at what could happen today on Wednesday, as it's going to be kind of another typical day of footies. But first of all, I want to talk about these player picks that came out yesterday. Now, one of them's a player pick, one of them, uh, two of them are player picks, and one of them is not. But the footies ultimate champions upgrade, you exchange three foot champions items, uh, 85 overall and higher, to get yourself a player pick one of five player pick that contains foot birthday tots ptg and summer stars and here's the thing so many people doing this player pick i'm seeing namars like crazy from these and just to show you how many people are getting namars take a look at this namar price 3.49 million coins look how much he has dropped he was four million coins yesterday before this came out went all the way down to 3.4 flat and is now rebounded back up about 60 70,000 coins but 4 mil down to 3 4 and then back up i mean crazy amount that that just goes to show you that on a 4 million coin card just how much he was supplied today it was people were almost calling it a glitch at how many Neymars were popping out of these packs. The pack was pretty good, right? I saw people getting 99 rated Messi's. I saw a lot of, you know, like a Verratti, I think, pop from one of these. These were actually really decent weight, right? And we haven't had any sort of upgrade other than the Foot Champions upgrade and the Foot Champions premium upgrade. We have not had any of these uh, Foot Champions related SBCs for a long time. And yesterday we got three. Now, of course, we saw this pack coming in the code, but right away when I read this, I had no idea that it was actually going to be related to foot champions. Now, it makes sense that it has champions in the name, but of course, they only needed to add this one pack to the code and they can release the player picks without adding any code. And that's why we saw three of them released yesterday. Now, this code was actually put out in the morning yesterday on Tuesday before the content drop. The, basically, the gist of this was they added that Foot Champions upgrade and they added some new preview packs into the game. 82 to 86 Gold Bread 12 pack. I guess technically they add a preview pack uh, variation of that pack and then a non-preview pack variation. So it technically could come out as an SPC pack or something like that too. But this is what that pack code was related to yesterday, which is a huge dub, right? And I'm a big fan of this. And again, they know that people have extra red cards right now because they've been doing weekend league plus objectives and it's just kind of a way that they can say all right you've been grinding the weekend league a little bit let us give you another reward and another place and uh, a pretty op sbc to put some of these extras in and again they do weekend league plus again and again like we were talking about yesterday it really seemed like they were pushing the la liga on us with the Carvel Hall, with the La Liga player pick that was last week, another La Liga footies voter voting SBC between Umtiti and Koke coming on Friday of this week. And again, here we have it, a league specific this time, eight La Liga players in your starting squad, and you get the three player picks. Of course, a lot of people are going to be turning some of these cards in to that foot champions footies um, ultimate upgrade, which is going to get you a player pick with five different items, right? This is the one that most people are doing. It's either the three player pick or the five. No, I haven't really seen too many people do the pack. I'm honestly thinking about chucking Benzema into this man, because if I'm seeing Neymar pop out of this, I mean, I've got Kane, I've got Lukaku. I don't need any other trucks in my team. I know Benzema is a really cool card to have, but to be completely honest, he's going to get really cheap at this end game stage. So it's almost kind of like, whatever, it's a full send. Let's see what we can get, right? So I'm probably going to get my silver one rewards on Thursday, whatever red that I get put into this upgrade. And then if I do end up playing some weekend league this weekend, if I would, 
get up to the the 15 win threshold if I really would grind, which is probably not going to happen. But at least if I get the seven win threshold or maybe 12, if I get that gold three, then boom, I'm going to get four red picks in the next uh, week or so to put back into that pack. Because basically for the next, it'll be for this week's rewards, next week rewards. And then I think there's like 16 days left um, on this, on this um, foot champions, the upgrade SBC. Yeah, 16 days remaining. So I, I think that actually takes us through three sets of weekend league rewards, right? This Thursday, tomorrow, a week from today uh, and tomorrow. And then second week after that, it'll be like about to expire. So 16 days will give us a plenty of time to get red picks with three different sets of rewards and then turn them into this footies ultimate champions upgrade, which is dope, right? Big fan of that. GG's EA Sports. Now we also had an 85 times 10 SBC that was released yesterday, which, you know, was worth a shot, right? Worth a shot, 200,000 coins-ish to do that SBC. I packed like 92 Sancho. They just, you saw a lot of these packs today, and at least half of the packs were promo cards, and that's how it is this stage of the game. That's why it is fun. Now, of course, those weekly plus objectives, that's what impacted the market the most yesterday. If you took a look at some prices, you see a lot of these cards are up Militao was like 500 under 500k he is up Acuna was in the 950s he's up 100,000 coins De Young flew uh Gomez flew Mendy is up Dest is up Hazard I mean all of these cards from the La Liga went up a lot yesterday and of course that was expected right so again this is what I would say and even as we get into rewards time frame uh, Thursday night into, or sorry, Wednesday night into Thursday, one thing I'd really keep an eye out on are some of these TOTS cards that will be supplied through Weekend League Rewards. If it's a TOTS item like this Varan that is already up in price due to those La Liga links, I would keep an eye out, right? And even some of these Summer Stars cards like this, like this Modric, if there's any sort of panic selling in the next day or two as we are on uh, this game and whatever content is released, you know, I'd keep an eye on some of these cards because I do feel like there could be some opportunities to flip them because there's going to be a lot of demand and i think there's going to be i think there's going to be more people going out and doing those weekend league plus objectives for la liga because it's also not you know just confined to one nation there's a lot of la liga players especially recently with all the ones that are in the game very easy to pick up these cards for pretty cheap and have a pretty sick team and you know a lot of people are going to grind after these because if they haven't packed neymar yet they're seeing everybody pack neymar from that champions upgrade the footies one and they're gonna go after it right they're gonna go after those three red picks and try to get that so that's what i like about at this stage of the game they're giving us opportunities to grind the content that they're putting out and they're giving again like the more uh hardcore user base of this game with the king kazu sbc as well from two days ago that's like for the hardcore like not really casual user base on this game, which is a huge dub. So I think that's a GG from EA Sports. I'm a big fan of that. Now, also yesterday, they released some information about FIFA 22 and gameplay. And I'm not going to go into that because I'm going to be completely honest. All they talked about was the hyper motion 11 v 11 and, you know, off the ball movements. And it was just a lot of talk about like the AI and how the AI is going to be so much better and yada, 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 and all this stuff. Here's what I want to talk about. Now, this is from an article. Now, I can't actually find the link. There's a, there's a link posted in this, this Forbes site here, but I actually clicked on it and I didn't find this part of the article. So I don't know if it was removed or not, but this is from the main man Weaver. I'll leave his Twitter link down in the description. Some very, some very interesting information about division rivals. Division Rivals and Foot Champions, right? Read this. Division Rivals has been redesigned. It is now a seasonal feature with a new progression system and rewards with each season having its own milestone prizes. There are multiple divisions, including an elite group for top-level players. Users can be relegated from most divisions, but not the elite. In the elite division, your ranking will be maintained and used for placement in the game's esports competition. So... That's pretty interesting, right? Once you reach that elite rank, you stay there. There's still going to be divisions where you can relegate from and stuff like that. But I think what that's going to do is, at least for the elite rank, it's going to take away the dropping divisions to complete objectives. Which, by the way, EA, you've got the new friendly system in. I don't think we need to see any more objectives in rivals, right? Or at least very few Put them all into friendlies because we have so many good friendly modes in this game now. Now, this is the other tweet, right? Foot champions has evolved into a multi-stage competition. It was reported earlier that Foot Champions was only going to be 20 games. So I'm very curious to see how this works 
in that scenario. It can be played at any time. However, the finals competitions are still on the weekends. On the bright side, the same rewards are in place. Most of the other mechanics in the mode function similarly to last year, although allowing players to play all through the week should be seen as a plus. So it looks like the weekend league is no longer the weekend league. It is foot champions that can be spread out across the week, right? Which is even with less games is going to make it very interesting. And the, the right away, right away, what I think about with that is just going to be the market impact, right? If there's constant demand all week for cards in this game, um, due to weekend league games being able to be played at any time during the week, I think, in my opinion, that's a huge dub, right? That's going to mean there's more demand during the week on the market, whereas a lot of times you would see the market go so high on Fridays and Saturdays with demand, which was very fun to trade with, of course. But now if you're going to see consistent demand during the week, you're just going to see prices move up and down so much more. I think it's going to be great for flipping cards. It's also going to be crazy with content that gets released because there's going to be some people, if, if that is truly how it works, where you can play some of your weekly games at any time during the week, uh, again, that demand is going to be crazy. And when content is dropped, there's going to be even more fluctuation on some cards prices um, due to that demand being there, depending on what content is released. So I'm actually really stoked for that. I'm really curious to see how that plays out, if that is true, and how EA kind of structure rewards. Again, we talked about rewards changing and stuff like that. So I'm not going to talk about it too much because, again, we are still far away from learning that information about Ultimate Team. That should be coming out in the next two to three weeks, I would imagine. Early August is where we'll get like an Ultimate Team deep dive. Uh, but I just thought that that was kind of nuts that that sort of information, which should be legit, um, is coming out. So we'll learn more about that into the future, but the gameplay release that they had yesterday was kind of an L, right? Really not a lot of hype with that, uh, and what happened in the game yesterday, or FIFA 22 information related what? FIFA 22 related information, that's what I'm trying to say. But anyways, again, let's talk about today on Wednesday a little bit. I mentioned rewards. I would watch out for some of those team of the season items. All of your best of team one cards are gonna get supplied for sure during rewards. Um, they're gonna see some supply on the market. I watch out for that too, because people are gonna open their weekend league packs. That's gonna bring some tradable supply, especially some of those La Liga items, right? La Liga Tots cards and La Liga specials that are in batch one. I would take a look at those as we are headed into that rewards period and see if there isn't any flippable opportunities there with some price drops and then demand headed out of rewards. But again, today on Wednesday, I'm kind of thinking a similar day to Tuesday, right? I don't know how many player SBCs we're gonna be getting during the week. It feels like we could be due another one since the last one we had was on Monday with the Mira SBC. But a lot of those really seem like they're gonna be staged for the weekends, right? Those uh, footies favorites as they're calling them. Um, I think they're really going to be set up for the weekends and we're going to see most of these type of SBCs on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday time frame along with the objective. So very curious to see what they do for a player SBC today if they do one at all. I know so many of you guys are looking out for an Atal, for a Renato Sanchez. Everybody thinks that those SBCs are coming, but at least as of right now, we have nothing, right? We do not have anything. Now, fodder is up, right? Again, you can, you with the 85 times 10 being released yesterday, it makes sense, right? Fodder is up. 83 is 6K a piece. 84 is 9.5K to 10K. 85s are up. 86s are up. So if you were able to club stock any of this like Sunday, Monday timeframe, you're making some coins, right? And that is just because there is continual SBC demand on this game right now. Again, today on Wednesday, content wise, I would expect to see some sort of like, you know, we had an 85 times 10 yesterday, maybe like an 85 plus player pick, something along the lines of another casino slash gamble SBC. As we call those, I would expect to see another one of those today on FIFA because we're getting one of those like every single day in this game. And other than that, I'm really not too sure what could be coming out today, man. Really not too sure unless we get some pack code of some new sort of pack that's going to be released today. Maybe another icon SBC since the icon player pick a lot of people have already done. Um, and it doesn't seem like they're scared of repeatable SBCs. So if they were to drop like an icon repeatable player pick or an icon pack repeatable, that maybe could be something that we see again later on this week, but we are later a bit on in the week. And usually that icon content's like a Sunday, Monday type thing. So honestly, we'll see. I have a little bit of a worry that it might be a slower day of content today in footies, but Hey, we'll see. EA continues to step up the bar and release insane content. So why would that stop? 
to be completely honest. But again, huge, huge Ultimate Champions upgrade here with the footies. Um, again, I love that refresh, the foot champs upgrades. That's a huge W. I'm going to keep grinding some 81 plus player picks because they're still really good for fodder, but I'm also, no, I'm also taking it slow again, man, because I know that in two weeks, some of these big name cards are going to get re-released back into packs and that's going to be fantastic for really hoping to get some big time cards like these team of the season, summer stars, PTG items that are not in packs right now, but should be re-released later. That's what I'm really stoked for the most is to try to get some of these guys when they go back into packs during this footage promo in a couple weeks. So that's my opinion. What could be happening today? Last things, last thing here, preview packs. Yesterday, they released 25,000 coin preview packs in the store. They expire in three days and they're basically unlimited, right? I think what they're doing here is they're putting kind of a baseline out for preview packs uh, with these 25Ks. And then what they might do is some of these other preview packs that they've added to the code that have not been released yet in the next couple of days. Of course, if that 87 plus star pack comes back, that's gonna supply some fodder. You know, maybe this 82 to 86 gold rare 12 pack supplies fodder a little bit, but that's really how we're getting our fodder supply right now is promo packs and um, maybe a little bit of like a tradable SBC that they would put out for like a daily challenge, but mostly from those preview packs, that's how we're getting fodder. You know, we'll have some reward supply that might dip some of the fodder as well. So, you know, if you have some of that stuff, maybe you cash out today before rewards if we get a big SBC, but just gonna have to kind of play that by ear as we get closer to the content drop today. So that's the video, man. Again, I just wanna stress this footies content is a huge W, especially for us that are still grinding in this stage of the game. So GG's to EA Sports. I appreciate all of that stuff. And hopefully it continues on today on Wednesday. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace out.